Lower back pain is a universal human experience. Almost everyone has it at some point. If your job involves repetitive lifting, pulling or anything that twists the spine, it may contribute to back pain. However, sitting at a desk all day comes with risks of its own, especially if your chair is uncomfortable or you tend to slouch. The kind of back pain that follows when you do certain movements too frequently or exercises wrong or too hard is often caused by muscle strain. But sometimes back pain can be related to the intervertebral discs. If a bulging or ruptured disc presses on the sciatic nerve, pain may run from the buttock down one leg. This is called sciatica. Of course there are also other reasons for lower back pain, like a spinal stenosis, spondylitis and many others. In this video we focus on spinal health through the right exercise selection with the right intensity. These exercises are low impact movements and train your whole core in a balanced way. In addition they improve your spinal stabilization and mobility. In contrast to these movements we also show you the most common workout mistakes that lead to back pain or make it worse if you already got problems. Please remember that some of these exercises are not wrong in general. They are just not the best solution if you already deal with back pain or if you are an absolute beginner without the right amount of body awareness and coordination. The first one are leg lifts. This exercise is very good to work your abs. The only problem is that it creates a very long lever. If you're not able to maintain the right pelvis position and with that muscle tension, you put too much pressure on your spine. Most beginners are simply not able to maintain the right position because they lack in coordination or they are simply too weak to stabilize their spine. Leg lifts are not about lifting your legs in the first place. The main goal is to use the legs as a lever to increase the tension for your abs. So if you arch your back and let the hip flexors do all the work, you're not doing your body any kind of favor. You can add the same principle when it comes to dragon flex or handstands. Arching your back passively without the right amount of muscle tension in these exercises is always a bad idea. Now please don't think that an arched back is wrong in general. It's a completely different story if you do active spinal mobility or strength work. Here you got full control over the spine and the right amount of muscle tension. The next no-go are sit-ups. As in the example before, you create a long lever for your lower spine and without the right amount of muscle tension, you put too much pressure on it. Beginners tend to do this exercise with too much momentum and they overuse their hip flexors too much. The sit-up is also not a good exercise for most people and there are better alternatives, but more on that later. The last exercise you should avoid is touching your toes with a rounded spine. This exercise is actually pretty good, but if you already got back issues, especially when we talk about spinal stenosis or disc problems, we suggest to avoid it. While touching your toes can improve your spinal mobility, the fluid flow in your discs and the flexibility of your muscles, it also puts some pressure on your lower spine if you are not able to stabilize this movement properly. If you want to know more about touching your toes, we linked a video in the description that explains all the pros and cons in detail. Alright, now it's time to take a look on the 5 best low impact exercises for your lower back. The first one is the cat cow. This exercise is great because you actively work on your spinal flexion and extension without putting too much pressure on this area. This has to do with the very low shearing forces in this position because of the knee and arm support. At the same time you activate all the important muscles that are necessary to bend and extend your spine. The second exercise is the hollow body crunch. Here you aim for a posterior pelvic tilt while raising your shoulder blades off the ground. When you compare it with leg lifts, you will notice that your thighs are in a vertical line above your pelvis. This creates a very small lever for your lower spine and with that much lower pressure. The same counts for the comparison with the sit-up. 
In the hollow body crunch, you only raise your shoulder blades off the ground and not the entire upper body. This makes the exercise not only more spine friendly, it's also much better to focus on your abs. The abs contract if you tilt your pelvis backwards and flex your thoracic spine. Any further movement is done by your hip flexors and totally useless if you want to train your abs. The third exercise is bridging. This exercise is really good to activate your back and your glutes. The glutes can also play a role in back pain. If they are too weak and other muscles are too tight, it can lead to the lower cross syndrome. When you do the bridge, make sure to not overextend your lower spine. Try to hold it in a neutral position and focus on glute tension when you raise your body up and down. The fourth exercise is the quadruped arm and leg raise. Here you raise one arm and the opposite leg off the ground until they form a straight horizontal line with your torso. Please make sure to not overextend your spine or to shift and rotate your body. This contralateral exercise is great to work against imbalances and focuses on your spine extensors and stabilizers. If you can't maintain the correct body alignment because of balance problems, you can start by only extending one leg or one arm at a time. To maintain or build an evenly trained body, it's important to work with both sides equally. So for each set you do with your right arm and your left leg, you do one set with your left arm and your right leg. The last exercise is the knee to chest stretch. This is a more passive exercise, but still great to release muscle tension in your lower back. You can do this exercise while laying on your back or in a kneeling position. Alright guys, we hope these tips are helpful for everyone who deals with back pain. If you want to develop a strong and healthy body and avoid back pain from the beginning, you should take a look at our step-by-step -step workout programs on kellymove.com. Every program is designed as an online course and optimized to strengthen your body and improving your physical health. Just take a look at our selection and get the right one that fits to your level and goals. If you have any further questions, just leave a comment. My name is Alex and I'll see you in the next video.